Stellantis CEO Carlos Tavares just dropped a bombshell through the electric vehicle industry with a stark warning that the entire EV industry is teetering on the edge of collapse. That's right, in a move as bold as it is daring, Tavares has just challenged the entire EV industry status quo. Tavares boldly stating that EVs are going to be a financial burden on the middle class is wild. But despite Stellantis' own foray into EVs, Tavares reveals that they are doing so under duress, forced by political mandates. This explosive revelation aligns with the age-old wisdom that in the fiercely competitive car business, only the strong survive. Tavares is sounding the alarm that the rush towards electrification, driven largely by political forces, might be setting up an economic nightmare. Despite Stellantis' own ventures into EVs, Tavares reveals their hand is forced by policies rather than pure market demand. This is a game changer. It's a revelation that questions the sustainability of this current EV boom. Are we, as Tavares suggests, on the brink of a collapse? A scenario where the rush to electricity could backfire, burdening consumers, especially the middle class, with financial strains they are ill-prepared for? This assertion shakes the very foundations of what we've been led to believe about the future of transportation. Now, in order to fully grasp the weight of Tavares' words, let's take a journey back in time. Picture this, it's the early 20th century, an era bursting with automotive ambition and innovation. It was a time when the streets were teeming with names like Ford, General Motors, and Chrysler. But here's the catch. While the industry did boom with over 250 manufacturers, by 1929, only a handful remained. This wasn't mere market fluctuation, it was Darwinian culling. The Great Depression further sculpted the landscape, leaving only the strongest to survive post-World War II. This historical tapestry serves as a stark backdrop to today's EV revolution, suggesting a similar trajectory where only the strongest will endure. Fast forward to today, as we look at today's electric vehicle market, it's hard not to feel like we're seeing history repeat itself. The industry is buzzing with the same kind of excitement and fervor that once surrounded the dawn of the automotive era. Giants like Tesla have already established themselves as frontrunners, while a host of ambitious startups such as Rivian, Fisker, and Lucid are racing to make their mark. Each company has its own unique vision and strategy, and they're all eager to secure a significant share of what promises to be a transformative future in transportation. But this isn't just a story of innovation and progress. Carlos Tavares, CEO of Stellantis, prompts us to ponder a critical question. Are we really witnessing a modern version of the early 20th century automotive industry shakeout? As discussed before, back then, a multitude of car manufacturers popped up, only for many to simply fall away, leaving only a few dominant players. The parallels to today are striking. Today's EV landscape is similarly crowded, filled with players both big and small, all fighting for position in a rapidly evolving market. The stakes in this modern race are incredibly high. Success in the EV market is not just about who has the most cutting-edge technology or the sleekest designs. It's about financial sustainability, the capacity to continuously innovate, and perhaps most importantly, the agility to adapt to a market that's still taking shape. The challenges these companies face is immense, ranging from production hurdles to cost management from battery technology breakthroughs to navigating complex and ever-changing regulatory landscapes. So what does the future hold for these EV pioneers? Will the market witness a consolidation akin to the early days of automobiles, where only a few players emerged victorious while most others faded into history? Or will the EV market defy historical patterns, giving rise to a new, diverse ecosystem of manufacturers? The answers to these questions are still unfolding, but one thing is clear. The journey of the EV market is as much about economic survival and strategic foresight as it is about the technological innovations. So what Stellantis wants to say is that the path to success in the EV industry is fought with both opportunity and peril. 
The companies that will thrive are those that not only embrace technological advancements, but also navigate the intricate web of financial, political, and consumer dynamics. This takes a gripping turn as we consider the financial pressures mounting on all these EV companies. Tavares, with his signature charismatic candor, points to the soaring capital costs and the tightening grip of rising interest rates. It's a scenario where the financial ground is shifting and not necessarily in favor of the burgeoning EV sector. The EV market, once seen as a beacon of innovation, now faces an existential threat, profitability. So, if you want to have good margins in terms of EVs, you have to be super sharp on cost. Because if you want to attract the middle classes, you need to have pricing at the core of the market that makes you profitable, he said. Here, Tavares reintroduces the importance of legacy automakers. With their established lines of gas and diesel-powered vehicles, these industry stalwarts possess a critical advantage. They have the financial muscle, honed over decades to weather the storm and pivot successfully towards electrification. It's a strategic edge that could well determine the future landscape of the EV market. But Carlos Tavares, CEO of Stellantis, also highlights a crucial, often overlooked factor, the significant role of politics. It's clear from his insights that election outcomes, especially in key regions like the US and Europe, are not mere side notes, but critical drivers in the narrative of EVs. Tavares sharpens our focus on this aspect, revealing how shifts in political power can rapidly change the EV adoption rate and the industry's regulatory environment. Take, for instance, the US presidential election and the European Parliament election, which Tavares points out as pivotal. Just the results of these upcoming elections can greatly influence how quickly and broadly consumers embrace EVs. Consider the Biden administration's ambitious plans to slash fleet fuel consumption by half by 2035. This goal sets a higher bar for the industry, but it's not set in stone. What happens if the political winds shift, bringing back leaders like former President Donald Trump or other Republican candidates to power? These ambitious targets might get dialed back a bit, impacting not just environmental goals, but the survival of many companies in the EV space. Tavares doesn't mince words about the risks for automakers who haven't yet cracked the code on making profitable EVs. He estimates a critical window, maybe two or three years, at most five or six, for these companies to get their act together. If they don't balance the heavy investment required for EVs against the lower profits these vehicles typically bring, at least compared to traditional internal combustion engines, they could find themselves in deep trouble and fast. His message is a wake-up call. In the EV industry, political decisions are far from distant, and bureaucratic moves are immediate and impactful, with the power to make or break the entire industry. For car makers, this means that staying ahead isn't just about engineering and economics. It's also about keeping a close watch on the political climate, ready to adapt to its swift and often unpredictable changes. Now, Tavares' message is a clarion call to the EV industry. It's a narrative of caution, foresight, and the need for strategic resilience. As we stand together at these crossroads, the choices made today will shape the landscape of tomorrow. The EV market, with all its promise and potential, faces a real moment of truth. The question now is not just about who will lead the charge into the future, but also who will be the ones able to sustain it. In this high-stakes race, it's not only innovation that counts, but also the ability to navigate the complex web of economics and politics. The future of electric vehicles hangs in the balance, poised between groundbreaking innovation and the harsh realities of market dynamics. Tavares challenges the industry to not only dream, but also to ground those dreams in the realities of the market and consumer needs. And there you have it, a groundbreaking statement from Carlos Tavares that could redefine the entire EV industry. Stay tuned as we continue to bring you the latest updates. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay informed, and thank you for watching.